George Faring and his wife Mabel were Boca Raton snowbirds who came from Ronkonkoma, Long Island in the 1950s. The couple lived on what was new housing on Northeast 24th Street, just off A1A at the beach. George dabbled in real estate and made a series of 8mm film clips to document the city and use the films to entice investors to the area. He spliced the films into a 30-minute feature entitled Driving Around Boca Raton. The shorts were apparently shot between 1956 and the early 60s. The film was made from his car, with George doing the filming, often from the passenger seat. He gifted the film to the Boca Raton Historical Society in 1975. In 2022, the film was archivally digitized and edited with generous donations from the community and the Pioneer Club. Our thanks to Mike Hottie for spearheading this preservation effort. The film begins at the Faring House on Northeast 24th Street at the beach, heading towards A1A. Look for the 1952 radar tower on the beach north of today's Red Reef in the background. The car is now turning south on A1A, Ocean Boulevard. At left is the Sun and Surf Clubhouse, also known as the Ocean Hearth Restaurant, built 1959 and burned in 1967. Notice the Sun and Surf Golf Course at left, now Red Reef Park. We pass the entrance to Smitty's Driftwood Nightclub and Restaurant north of the Pavilion. The car turns west on Palmetto Park Road. On the left is the Giles House, later known as La Vieille Maison Restaurant. We cross over the Intracoastal and continue heading west. Thank you. 
The car turns north on what is now Meisner Boulevard and then heads west on Boca Raton Road. Sanborn Square is at left. At the time, Boca Raton Road was a through street to Dixie Highway. We turn north on Northeast First Avenue. The field in the distance is a future Meisner Park site. The car turns east on Northeast Second Street. We arrive at the circa 1960 post office on Second Street. Mrs. Farring goes in to collect the mail. Back in the car and in the distance is the new Sunday School Building Fellowship Hall for what is now First United Methodist Church. Note the sign for the new sanctuary built 1965. The car heads toward Federal Highway. Today, this is just north of Meisner Park. We turn north on Federal. At left is the Boca Car Wash, 1299 North Federal, built 1962 and still standing. Just beyond is the popular Wolfie's Chain Restaurant. Notice the sign for the Fifth Avenue shops at the right at Five Points. The Publix at Fifth Avenue Shops opened December 1961. We are heading north again on Federal. At right is the entrance to Harbor East. On the west side are Boca Woods and Chatham Hills. At right is the entrance to Lake Rogers Isles. The next portion of the film is blurry and begins on Palmetto Park Road heading west. This time the car turns south on Meisner Boulevard. The car passes the former community church, then the Debbie Rand thrift shop.
The car goes into the parking lot of First Bank and Trust at 110 East Royal Palm Road and circles around the building. The car is back on Palmetto Park Road heading west. The car turns north on Northeast First Avenue and passes Sanborn Square on the left and driving past the old post office building where the Chabad Lubavitch East is now located. Now we are back on Southeast First Avenue, passing the Amder Building at 40 Southeast First Avenue. The car drives by Virginia Radigan's clothing store at 111 East Royal Palm Road. Town Hall is briefly visible at left. Now we drive by Love's Drugs at 119 Southeast 1st Street. Now we are in the future Royal Palm Plaza. Notice Quick Check, Bolton's 5 and 10, and Boca Fruit Shippers. Directly ahead is Joe Meehan's menswear at 127 Southeast 1st Street. The Boca Raton Hotel's golf course is in the distance. We are now back on East Boca Raton Road.
The north end of Town Hall is at left. The car turns west on Palmetto Park Road at Federal Highway. Note the 7-Eleven just west of the FEC tracks, still there. On the south side of the road are the garden apartments. The police sign is at Northwest 2nd Avenue, now Boca Raton Boulevard, where City Hall is today. The car passes Memorial Park. We turn south on Southwest 4th Avenue by the Marantha Apartments, built circa 1963. The car turns into St. Joan of Arc Catholic Church, built 1961. We are back on Palmetto Park Road, heading east. The car passes the old police station located on Boca Raton Boulevard, about where the tennis courts are now. Across the street is the new main library built 1961. Causeway Lumber is now Library Commons. The traffic signal is at Northwest 13th Street, not yet Glades Road. The city water treatment plant was located at the northwest corner of today's Glades and Boca Raton Boulevard. In the distance are the backs of some of the surviving World War II Boca Raton Army Airfield buildings. The car is headed east on Northwest 20th Street. Smith and DeShields is at left and the Wholesale Furniture Plaza, which was an airfield building. The car turns around at the railroad tracks and heads west.
The car crosses the El Rio Canal and enters onto FAU property. The runways of the former airfield are in the foreground. FAU buildings are under construction in the distance in 1962 or 63. We are heading east on 20th again. At left is the entrance to the Glen Apartments. The car heads south on Dixie. University Bowl is at left at 100 Northeast 20th Street. Now we are heading east on 20th Street. Note the ficus trees in the median, which are still there. The car arrives back at five points. The car is turning around in the parking lot of the 5th Avenue shops. We exit onto Federal Highway. Note the ranch house on the west side. The Congress Inn is now the Boca Inn. We pass the Boca Car Wash again on the west. Roy's Atlantic Service Station is at 799 North Federal. First Federal is on the right, followed by the Furniture Plaza at 559 North Federal. Now the car is driving north on Dixie.
Here we turn into the entrance to the new Hidden Valley development. The car turns around and heads back east on Hidden Valley, crossing Dixie and heading to Federal. We now head south on Federal. Note all the new intracoastal developments advertised on the left. We turn into the new Boca Harbors. The car continues south on Federal. That's Belzer's Hardware at 3198 North Federal. The Elks Club is at left. We are back at Five Points once again and into the Fifth Avenue Plaza.
The car turned south onto Fifth Avenue. Notice the A&P grocery store at right in what is now the Dollar Tree Center Plaza. At the intersection with Palmetto Park Road, the Bayou Restaurant is at left. The car turns east on Palmetto Park. We drive through the parking lot at the pavilion. Notice the corner takeout, later known as the keg, in the parking lot. We return home via Ocean Boulevard. The radar tower is clearly visible on the right. The car then turns onto Lago Mar Lane. 